Good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on the UK's number one radio station. That is Sench, a big, 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 big station serving the North West. And, of course, the country's top night spot. All there for you and lots to discuss. My name, of course, Scotty McClure, capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. McClure, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. Scotty McClure, with you until one in the morning. The time coming up to eight minutes past ten o'clock already as we speak. Now, what are we talking about tonight? Well, rather a lot to get on with. Um, are you not, as a man, right? Men have never been asked this. We see a lot of women uncovering themselves in the tabloid press, showing the top story, flashing the thruppany bits at us. Now, if we're honest about it, do men really appreciate that? Right? A lot of the time we don't. It might be a particularly ugly girl. It might be, uh, you know, you might be having a plate of wheat bangs in the morning and here's this massive fold-up appearing out of the newspaper at you. Now, I say, you know, if, if, if men flash their bits and pieces, there would be an absolute outcry from the women. They'd be screaming and shouting and talking about uh, equality and harassment and all these kind of things. And I say, why don't we say that uh, if women are over 30, they should make it illegal for them to show their bits, right? Because, I mean, obviously, if you're going to see a woman over 30, you're not really going to admire her bits and pieces. So you can tell us what you think about that. I've got a telephone number for you, which I'll give you in a minute. And um, as a man, this is very much a, a programme from a man's point of view I want tonight, but obviously I'd welcome the ladies' comments as well. As a man... Is your missus up to scratch in the kitchen? Now, not the bedroom. We're talking about the kitchen tonight. Is your missus up to scratch in the kitchen? In other words, are you getting the kind of food and the quality of food and the time put into the food's preparation that you are used to, that you appreciate as a guy? Uh, you know, like your mum used to make, your auntie Fanny and your granny used to make. Or is the missus being a bit perfunctory the same as they tend to be in the bedroom because they're pushing more for this equality than um, actually getting on and seeing to the man, standing by the man and treating the man as king of the jungle. So you can tell us what you think about that. Uh, and also, should we make people with a bad back return to work? Apparently, it's the best thing for you to get back to work if you've got a bad back. The exercise helps and the stimulus helps as well. So you can tell us what you think about that. There we are, three subjects for discussion. Women over 30 must cover their uh, thruppany bits up we should actually make it illegal to flash your thruppany bits over 30 and um our uh, your missus is cookery skills up to what they should be and also if you've got a bad back how would you uh, feel about having your benefit withdrawing and been made to return to work that's what i say scotty mcclure's megaphone in three main subjects you don't have to discuss them but it does help if you can uh since there's so many more of you joining us every night i'd better give you the rules the rules are as follows no second names, no names of individuals, no pack drill, no politics, no football religion, no swearing. Um, apart from that, we'll get on absolutely fine. So dinky-doo, I say, get your telephones, the number, right? So get your telephones, that's the number. No lines free at the moment. You'll find it's engaged, but keep trying and trying and trying again. Redialing and redialing and redialing, and eventually we will get you all on all right you've got top of a hard black pencil and a threepenny jotter with no batter remember that is fast becoming the best known telephone number in the country also if you uh, the scotty mcclue website is up and running so if you've got your stub of a hard black pencil it is as follows www.scotty-mcclue.com www.scotty-mcclue.com all right, and Scotty, of course, is S-C-O-T-T-I-E, and McClue is M-C-C-L-U-E, with a dash in the middle. Don't forget the dash. Always a dash, like a dash of pepper on a barred egg. www.scotty-mcclue.com Right, um, now, we're talking to uh, Pauline from Manchester. How are you, love? Thank you, do. Thank you, do. You are going to be the first to promote something on your station tonight. Did you know about the transport days? I didn't, love. 
and transport is vital to the life of Greater Manchester towns and cities. Correct. Because without transport, how would people get to Manchester? Well, without transport, you're, you're, you've done it on your chips, haven't you? So isn't that one of the most important things? That's very important. Right. Now, can I tell you where it is or not? How do you mean where it is, love? Where it's going to be held. Where what's going to be held? A transport meeting on Monday. A transport meeting on Monday? Yes. Go it's on. going to be held at the Manchester Town Hall. Manchester Town Hall, love. On yes. Monday. All yes. right, then. So what's going to happen is you're going to have people that you can talk to and discussion about what's going to happen in Manchester. There's going to be lectures and one thing and another from 5.30 and 6.30 at night. So people can go after the finished work to tell their complaints and bring their problems to the right councillors in the town hall. Don't you think that's a good idea? Pauline, I think that's absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to say dinky-doo. And also... Oh, there's more? Yeah. Not because too long, then. There's one also on the Saturday about the railways as well. Yes. Now, I think the important thing to, to do, if people have complaints and are worried about things, don't you think it's important that they should know what's going on? No, don't ask me, love. Ask them. Well, this is it. And you're going to be, your radio is, go, um, is going to be the first to inform people of what's going on. There you are. We always are, darling. Exactly. We always are. Hey, and didn't you do? And what about the back problems? Oh, never mind that, love. Dinky doo. Oh, dinky doo. <laughs> dinky doo. Right, Marlon from Wrexham. Are you there, Marlon? Oh, hello. Yes, I am. Yes, look. Um, I've just heard your remarks about women over 30. Yes. Not showing the bits. Not showing the bits, love. I think that would do us all a favour. Why? Well, if you think about when a woman's over 30, she's starting to sag anyway. Well, how many have you seen over 30? Oh, a considerable number, I would say. I Prob don't think probably so. more than's good for me. I don't think so. Well, why, why don't I've you... probably seen more over 30 than under 30. Why don't you put out a challenge then, get a load of women between 30 and 50 and see what you think? No problem. Right, no we'll problem, but let's be honest about it. You know, I mean, well, you, it's, you, you, you it's the fact that it's the fact that women think that you know people would want to see them. You know, it's as if it's core. Oh, you might just catch a swatch at those. Well, why don't you actually confront person to person these people? Well, I'm confronting person but to person. You're not. You do I am it on the radio. Why don't? Well, you that's fine. Them? I mean, I'm talking to millions and millions. But you're not facing them, are you? No, well, I might not want to radio. face them. They might put me off my supper. I don't think so. I think they might. That's why Certainly I'm saying. Don't think that's so. why I'm. Saying. Why do you think that the uh, tabloid press use people under twenty? Because women over thirty have got more intelligence. More intelligence. Like, what's that got to do with it? I think you're. <laughs> I think you're completely confused. There is no, no connection so. between intelligence and the size of your throat news. I think you're making very bad remarks about women that you know nothing about. I know everything about it. I wouldn't make the remarks. How many have you seen over thirty? Oh, stacks, love. You haven't seen mine. Hey. You haven't seen mine. That's possibly true. Right then. So that's. So you're wrong then, aren't you? No, I'm not wrong, love. You're only you one are. of several million. You, you're including me in that. Uh, comment. Yes. Right, well, you're wrong. Why am I wrong? What makes you think, what makes you think that people might want a swatch at yours? Oh, uh, <laughs> what hey? makes you think they don't? Well, there you are. Exactly, well, you tell me what, why they are won't. You, are you something of an exhibitionist? Oh, certainly am. That's the stuff, eh? Certainly am. So when are you going to uh, confront all these women face to face, get them all in a row? What do you mean, all these women? All these women who are out there. Uh, there's only you, stuff. there's only you, there's only one. No, there, I'm sure, I can assure you, there's lots more women out there absolutely furious. Well, we shall see. Right, we'll all get you, we'll all give you a quick flash and you'll be bowled over. You'll probably bowled face. over, love. You pr you probably fake you that old. Oh, that's old. I'll be put off me. I'll be put off me chips. <laughs> so why don't you do it? Well, we might just yeah. do it, love. We might have it. Yes, you're that... safe in the studio, aren't you? But you see how many women would turn up over thirty. Yes, I bet. Yeah, they'd all turn up to give Scotty McClure a scratch. <laughs> And you couldn't service one of them. Oh, anyway, so you I'm think, hey, hey, that's what you think, love. You mustn't judge on past experience. Well, you're doing it. Hey. You're judging. No, I'm not. Yes, you no, are. I'm not. I'm just saying we don't want to see it. And, you know, perhaps we should Who's make it a we? rule. Who's we? You. Hey, men. No, the men, love. The kings of the jungle. Oh, ask them. Hey. You ask 
Well, well, I've asked them. You haven't. I've asked them for heaven's sake. We've got the biggest radio phone in show in the country. No, I've asked them. No, no, Half of them don't bloody know anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've had a bad experience. I'm I beg your pardon. I think you've had a bad experience. Oh, I've had lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon. Anyway, I'm going to bed now. But are you going to bed, darling? You just uh, put that out to the nation. Well, take care of your beautiful self. You're obviously <laughs> stunning, from what you tell us. I'm absolutely fabulous. <laughs> absolutely. Anyway, dear. And are you gonna... over thirty? Oh, only just. You've just scraped by. I'm only a baby, really. All right, give us a kiss then. <laughs> night for now. Bye. Night, 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 night. There we go. Very interesting. What about that for a challenge? Scotty McClue's Throttony Bits phone in.